Hello everyone, Rochelle here and I'm back to share some yarn goodness with you all today. So I have a little bit of crochet, a little bit of knitting, and a little bit of yarn to share with you all. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing that I wanted to share with you all is my ongoing crochet project. Here it is. And this is the corner to corner um blanket by oh let's see who is this by Catherine Watson and I will put all of that information on the screen so the yarn that I am using is this yarn here and it is Karen's Karen's jumbo yeah I keep wanting to say Karen Simply Soft but it's not Karen Simply Soft it is Karen uh, Jumbo. I got this from Joann's and I have about five or six skeins of this. Um, so far I've gone through two skeins so this is going to be a rather large blanket and if you all hear any barking my dog Peanut is arguing with the neighbor's dog because she runs the neighborhood. We just live in it. So this is the yarn that I'm using. It is a worsted weight yarn, of course. And the hook that I am using for this is a size I9, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And of course it has my lovely bamboo handle on it. It's, it just feels great. It's very ergonomic, as they say. So let me show you all my progress. I haven't made a whole lot of progress on it. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's one of those things that I just pick up and work on every now and then. All right, let's see. Where is my stitch marker? I lose stitch markers all the time. Okay, so this is where I'm at at the moment. I just finished up a corner. I am in the decreases. I'm not sure if I was in the decreases um, in the last episode, but I am in the decrease rows now. I am forming the edge, as you all can see here. And yeah, so I just go back and forth, back and forth. And I will share the pattern, um, the pattern information and all of that in the description box below. So it is coming along quite nicely. Yep, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I like corner to corner blankets and throws. It's just kind of like something you can just work on. And um, it's pretty much two rows. It's a free pattern. So it's pretty much two rows that you just have to remember. And the main thing is, is just remember which row you just finished. So I do have a, um, a stitch marker on the right side just so I can know when I need to switch over. So that's been great. And of course, that's one stitch marker. I had another stitch marker somewhere. Yeah. And I have a ton of ends to weave in. And I know you should weave in your ends as you go, but eh, I don't. I don't. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. So that is that. All right. So let's go on and look at some knitting. So I have casted on a new project. I don't think I showed this last time. Uh, I am working on the Profusion Cowl. It's a pattern on Robert. I'm not sure if that one's free or not. But anyway, I will put the information about the pattern in the description box below. And the Profusion Cowl is by Karen McCall, I believe. Karen McCall. And uh, like I said, I'll put all of the description information down in the description box below. So I do not, I do not have the yarn that I'm going to use for this. Just a minute. Okay, so I'm back. I had to grab the yarn that I'm using for this project because I'm using quite a few skeins of yarn for this project. So this is what I'm working with so far. And this is going to be a very, very long cowl. So this is what I'm working with. And I am using my Chalgu uh, interchangeable needles. And this is a size, let's see, what size is this? This is a size seven, which is a 4.5 millimeter. And this is a, I believe this is a 22 or 24 inch cable that I'm using. Um, I, I think I started off, yeah, this is 24. I, I started off with a, um, 
with a uh, 32, I believe. And I was like, okay, that's just too big. And I knew that a 16 inch uh, interchangeable cable would just be too long. So I went with this one and it actually has 22 inches on it. So yeah, went with the size 22 inch on this one. And of course I love using my child glue needles. They just, they just feel great. They really do feel great. There's a really nice point on them, but not, not like, you know, prick your finger pointy because I've used some knitting needles before that just should be considered too dangerous. Like, yeah, they're super, super pointy. So this is what I'm working with. And um, also, I wanted to know for the knitters out there, do you all uh, continental knit? Do you throw? I think that's called the English. Uh, or do you um, do you flick? Do you flick? So let me know in the comment section below which one that you do. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be using a lot of different yarns for this project. And um, these were yarns that were from a couple of knit crate boxes. And um, here they are. And I don't have the particular order that I'm going to use these in the project. I have it written down, but um, I don't have like the particular order that I'm going to do these in. So this is one color and they are not quite mini skeins, a little bit bigger than mini skeins. I don't know. I mean, I guess they're worsted weight, so they do look a bit chunky, but yeah, I would say these are mini skeins, but th this is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. It's a worsted weight and each skein is a hundred yards. So yeah, I would say this is a mini skein, of course, and that's 50 grams. So there's this colorway. And this one is called uh, Fumato, I believe. All right. And then we have this gorgeous color. And this one is called Titian. Petitian. And we have Fresco. We have Venetia. It's a beautiful color here. And then we have Michelangelo. And last but certainly not least, we have Gunochi, Gucci. I'm probably butchering that name, but this is it. And I know this one looks close to some of the other ones, but there is a difference between the two. So I thought that these would pair very, very well together. So I am very excited to use these skeins of yarn. And uh, yeah, so that's awesome. And um as far as this knit crate goes, I do have a coupon code if you want to use it. It is queen20 and you get a discount on your first box with knit crate. All right, so now let's move on to my stuff, to Queen's Yarn Boutique yarn. Um, I do have yarn in the shop. The shop is fully stocked and um, I do have some new colorways and I have some mini skeins. I haven't offered mini skeins since probably what, 2016, 2017. Um, I put a few in my Etsy shop, but I've never actually had any mini skeins in my um, in my new shop that I've that I've had. So yeah, this is very exciting. And these are um, these are like not kits. What am I thinking of? Um, sets. <laughs> words um I had a French lesson today and yeah, English is still it, it, it's still coming so anyway um I have some mini skein sets and I will show you all those sets okay so let's talk Queen's Yarn Boutique all right so I have five different uh, reflection reflection sock mini sets um to share with you all now as I mentioned these are sock weight and they are 75-25, 75% uh, superwash merino and 25% uh, nylon, which is also the same that um, the same base that I use for my Kiss sock as well. Uh, Kiss sock, I believe, has 463 yards, and each of these mini skeins have 92 yards um, per skein. They're both four ply, so it would pair very well with uh, Kiss sock. Okay, so the first one is this one here, and it is called Azur. Azur just means blue 
in French. So here's this one. And it has like a really good, um, really good variegation. I really like it. It's got like a really dark blue. I think that's showing up rather well on camera, but it has like a lovely dark blue. I love this color. And then we have one in the middle here that's kind of like a navy. And then we have this one here, which is kind of like a sky blue. So there's this one. And of course they come with a little, little tie. So that's fun. All right. Now this one is called Atom and which just means autumn or fall in English. And here are the colors. Um, so we have red, like a very deep, deep red. Then we have brown and we have a green, kind of like green in a tree. Kind of like, kind of like an evergreen, evergreen tree. And then we have this beautiful yellow here in the middle. And I love the saturation of all of these. And we have this lovely burnt orange here. And last but certainly not least, we have this green, kind of like an army green. It's really nice green. I love that green. So yeah, this one is a thumb. And I will leave the link in the description box below to my shop where you can find all these goodies. The next one is camouflage, just camouflage, camo as we call it in the South. And here are the colors. I really think this looks like camo. It just reminds me of camo so much. You have like this really nice tannish, I would say tannish gray, but it has more of a hint of brown in it. Also, you have this lovely green here and this lovely brown. And so you may be thinking like, oh, she used some of the same colors um, in the different sets, but actually no. So if you look at the brown in this one and the brown in this one, I'm not sure if it's showing up, but there's actually a little bit of a difference. This one's a lot lighter, of course. This one's more of a darker brown. So if you buy these and you're thinking about mixing and matching, just keep that in mind. Um, let's see, what's another one? If you're looking at the different greens, these are two different color green, and this is a different color green. So yeah, that shows up really well. Um, but there, there's a difference there. So I just wanted to uh, point that out to you all. And I also have Alconciel, which is just rainbow. And we have our lovely rainbow colors here. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Of course, you know I love the purple. And I just wanted to show you all the different color orange. So there's the orange in this one, and then there's the orange in that one. Of course, you all can see that it's a little bit different. Um, I like to point this out because sometimes when you're looking on the website, you're like, does that orange match that orange? Does that red match that red? And so I just want to let you all know that there are two different kinds, two different kinds of orange there um, in each set. See, is there anything else that's similar? Also, they both have red, but I use two different dyes on these. And that's actually, I'm not sure. I mean, well, this one does look a little bit dark to me on camera. So I just wanted to let you all know that those are two completely different dyes that I used for that. Let's see, is there anything else? Then we have our yellow. This one's a darker yellow. And this one's more of a brighter yellow. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's all the comparisons that I just wanted to show you. Yeah. And these are great. You can use the tie to hang them up and display them if you want to. I was trying to think of a way to just be a little bit different, but um, have a way to display these when I go to fiber festivals. But still, I wanted something that was going to fit nicely inside of a shipping package. So I came up with this. And little labels I just made myself. I make all my labels. You all may have seen on Instagram me cutting out my labels. I'm sure there is a, a an easier way to do it. Um, but I've just always cut my own labels. I print them out. I cut them myself. 
So last but certainly not least, we have la vie en rose. And in English, a lot of times I hear la vie en rose. Same thing. So these are the colors. So you all may recognize these colors. Um, this one is wine. This one is mogulus. And this one is black cherry. I just have them in smaller form. So yeah, these are so pretty. So pretty, almost like little ponytails. But yeah, super cute. I really like them and yeah, I'm excited about them. So that's all that I wanted to share with you all today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hanging with me. I am more active on social media. So if you all want to keep up with what I'm doing, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, usually when I post to Instagram, I post to the other two. I will say something. When I post to Instagram, a lot of times I like to use music. But for whatever reason, Facebook does not like a lot of, I guess, copyrighted music. So sometimes like I have to change the music for, um, for when I post on Facebook. And so the music will be different on Instagram. Um, but of course, it's the same video. But a lot of times the audio has to be a little different because I'm not trying to get flagged for a copyright, which is really interesting because I thought Facebook owned YouTube. I mean, owned um, Instagram. So why can't we use the same music? I don't know. I don't want to get into that that soapbox, but it's just it's interesting to me how on Instagram you can use copyrighted music, but on Facebook, I've been flagged before, so I was like, okay, we're not gonna do that again. Uh, so I just use like two different audio samples um, when I'm posting to either site, just in case you have noticed. All right, so that is all that I want to share with you all. Thank you so much, and until next time. Bye.